what is going on guys today we are going to create the springy text animation in hitfilm express so to get started i have already my text laid out it's right in the center then you have to expand it go to the transform let's just zoom in and you can see the anchor point is right in the bottom center of this text we want this anchor point to be on the right edge or on the left edge depending where you want the animation to take place so i'm just going to move it to the right side like that and then i'm just going to copy this value and paste it back in the position so that it is centered again and then all we have to do is keyframe the scale value so i'm going to unlink it and create a keyframe at the very first frame set the amount of scale on the left value to zero go to one second in time and set this to around 125 so we have this stretched text and then we are going to move 15 frames forward and set this to i guess 85 and we are going to move 10 frames forward we can change this to 110 and let's move six or seven frames forward and set this to 95 and let's move two or three frames forward and set this back to 100 so you select all the keyframes and convert the keyframes to manual bezier and we go to value graph select the second keyframe and move its handle all the way to the left so we get a nice animation out of it so there you have it you can if you want a more smoother animation you can increase the distance between the keyframes so i can just move it forward like that and just move the last keyframe forward and it will be much smoother right so if you want this animation to happen in the opposite side you just all you have to do is hold the control key on the keyboard and click on the anchor point value and do the same with the position hold the control key and click on the position value to change the signs so now if you play this animation it will take place on the right side of the text uh, but if you change the text then if you have like a different text you might want to change the anchor point value again because if we see it the anchor point value is not near the box it's quite far away so you have to reposition it so you have to do that in this example so we can do that just move it over here copy the value and paste it over here and that should work like charm so that is pretty much it for this video i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one